My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we all know the original sin. The Lord told our first parents, do not eat from the tree of good and evil. And they ate. In essence, the original sin is disobedience. What is the second sin? The second sin is jealousy and envy. Jealousy and envy are very close to the original sin of disobedience. Jealousy and envy are siblings. But there is quite a difference between jealousy and envy. Ang ibig sabihin po ng jealousy ay I have something and I am afraid you will take this from me. That is jealousy. Envy is you have something and I want that for myself. That is envy. But whatever it is, whether jealousy or envy, both are unsatisfied. Both are unhappy. Both are longing and both want to possess. How many commandments are there? There are ten commandments. There is only one commandment for murder. There is only one commandment for adultery. There is only one commandment for stealing. But there are two commandments for coveting. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not covet your neighbor's goods. Coveting is actually jealousy and envy. I hope you understand that, my dear brothers and sisters, that for murder, for stealing, for adultery, there is one commandment. But for jealousy and envy, there are two. That is how prevalent it is. And that is how dangerous it is. Because many people go to hell, not because of adultery, not because of murder, but because of jealousy, because of envy. But we have become a cultured people. What do I mean by being cultured people? When you say, Ooh, jealous ka lang eh. Sasagot natin, Me? Why should I be jealous? That's below my dignity. Bakit ako magseselos? Para naman akong teenager. Para akong bata. I am more mature than that. I am more secure than that. I am not jealous. I am not envious. We don't like to think that we are jealous. We don't like to think that there is envy. But there are signs. There are signs of jealousy which we do not acknowledge but are there. Being very critical. That is jealousy. That is envy. Being too critical about others. Being resentful about the blessings of others. Or sometimes, being happy when those who are successful fail. Sometimes, feeling happy when those who are rich become bankrupt. Sometimes, feeling happy when those who are happy in life become sad. Sometimes, we are very critical we are very resentful, we are very bitter, we are very cynical, there is no hope in the world. These, my dear brothers and sisters, are signs of envy, bitterness, resentment, discontent, unhappiness. When you see something good, you don't like, you are not satisfied with admiring. When you see something good, when you see something beautiful, you want to acquire. Admiration is not enough. When I see something good, I want to acquire, not just admire. I want it to be mine. That is jealousy. That is envy. Those are signs 
that jealousy and envy are eating us up. I said there are two commandments against envy and jealousy. And many people go to hell, not go to heaven. Many people fail to go to heaven because of jealousy. Why? Jealousy and envy will not be happy when people are happy. Jealousy and envy will not congratulate, will not affirm, will not appreciate. But what is heaven? Heaven is perpetual praise. Heaven is perpetual adoration. Heaven is perpetual praise. How can you praise in heaven when you never learned how to praise here on earth? And if you're jealous, you will never praise. If you're envious, you will never praise. My dear brothers and sisters, the servants in the gospel were envious because the other servants received the same. And it killed them. They were envious. And they, it, it did not, before it killed them, it made them unhappy. It made them grumbling people, murmuring people, dissatisfied people, resentful people. Sometimes we deny that we are jealous and we just say, I am just seeking for justice. Sometimes we deny that we are envious and we just say, I am just seeking for what is mine, for what is fair. But those, my dear brothers and sisters, are immature cover-up. There is a seed of jealousy and envy in all of us. And we will not be able to go to heaven unless we start learning how to praise those who are ahead of us, how to praise those who are equal to us, how to praise those who are lower than us, and how to celebrate with those who celebrate and not want to possess instead of simply admiring. When we move from bitterness to gentleness, when we move from criticalness to affirmation, then we are on the way to liberation from jealousy and envy. What should we do? First, just acknowledge that there is jealousy in you. Just acknowledge that there is discontent when others are contented. Just acknowledge that there is happiness when others are defeated. Just acknowledge that there is bitterness and say, I need forgiveness and I need to forgive myself. We need to forgive the world for loving the others more than the world loves us. We need to forgive our parents for not giving us enough time while our siblings had so much. We need to forgive our friends. We need to forgive one another. Perhaps we also need to forgive God because sometimes we blame God for not giving us the gifts that He has given to others. But believe me, my dear brothers and sisters, if we can start the habit of praising one another here on earth, when our life on earth is over, we will be praising God forever in heaven because we have been so accustomed to celebrating goodness when we see goodness, for praising, for glorifying, for affirming. The cause of all suffering is desire. And desire manifests in envy and jealousy. Jealousy for those who are ahead of us. Competition for those equal to us. And contempt for those who are below us. 
God wants you to be happy. But the way to be happy is liberation from jealousy and envy. Ask forgiveness and He will heal you. Ask forgiveness and He will make you a grateful person. Ask forgiveness and that covetous attitude that the two commandments warn us against will no longer affect you. God will save you. God will forgive you. And God will help you to praise Him on earth so that you can praise Him forever in heaven.